Joining us now with his thoughts on Warren's wealth tax is billionaire investor Lee Cooperman. Of course, he's the chairman and CEO of the Omega family office. And Lee, I, I know you were a little um, agitated by what you were hearing from Senator Warren last night. What would you like to say in response to what she laid out? Well, first let me say good morning to you and your viewers. Good morning. The idea has no merit. It's foolish. Um, it uh, probably is not legal. Um, in a much better way you can raise your revenues. I think Tillman Petita was on one of your segments yesterday and gave a number of examples of the problems this thing would create. And uh, the way I see it is there's plenty of ways of raising up in revenue. Uh, we can uh, eliminate the carry interest. We talked about that in your program seven or eight years ago. We can eliminate the ability of real estate owners to avoid taxes by rolling sales proceeds, sales proceeds into new purchases. Uh, we could set a minimum tax for all to pay, no matter what the source of their income is, uh, raise taxes if necessary, try to eliminate uh, waste, which is the best way to go. Most countries that have tried a wealth tax have repealed it because it doesn't work. Uh, I, I could go through lots of examples of the problems it would create. Uh, but I think there are two issues we got to deal with here. There's one is the wealth tax, which I think has less than a 5% chance of passing. So I don't think it's intelligent, and I don't think it's legal. But we also have to deal with the uh, dialogue that uh, the progressives are taking towards wealthy people. They tend to villainize wealth, and I don't get it. I don't understand it. And uh, this is a very sensitive subject, because I am very sympathetic to the plight of the people that are having difficulties in the economy. Very you know, my whole focus now, uh, when I gave back all my investors their money and run a family office, is devoted towards trying to recycle my money back into society. Hey, let's talk very quickly about share buybacks. That was another issue we, we got into with Senator Warren yesterday. You yeah, have a problem with share no buybacks? Should the government she has no them? idea what she's talking about. You know, sure, there are, buybacks should be evaluated like, as a management decision like any other capital allocation decision. You go out and you buy another company. You go out and you spend money on plant and equipment. You pay a dividend. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a decision made by management, and it has to be evaluated. You know, I learned a lot about buybacks by watching Dr. Henry Singleton operate. He was a, a brilliant, brilliant executive. OK, and he did eight self-tender offers from 1972 to 1984, retired 90 percent of his stock, never selling a share of his own stock. I hate buybacks where managements are buying back a lot of stock and selling into the buyback. He never sold a share of his stock. He died uh, as the second largest uh, owner of land in America next to Ted Turner. He became a multi-billionaire because of his wise decisions. OK, he created a tremendous amount of wealth for shareholders. When the shareholders cash in their stock, they pay taxes to the government. OK, we don't need the government. The government is not proven to be a great allocator of capital. We don't need artificial decision making. We just let the let the invisible hand of capitalism work. We have the greatest economy in the world. The, the thing that I fear most is the young people in this country are embracing socialism, and not, and not understanding that we have one of the most effectively working economies in the world. Okay. And we should not look to make radical changes. We could make changes around the edge. We could do a better job, no question about it. I have no problem with raising taxes. I have no uh, problem with eliminating loopholes. You know, let's, we've talked about carrying interest for a decade on this program. Nothing has been done. It should be taxed as ordinary income. Okay. It's as simple as that. We don't need a new regime. It's not wise. It will lead to un, uh, uh, economic decision making. And I think Tillman Fatia did an excellent job yesterday on one of your segments in discussing his views and explaining the problems, which I could go through, but not necessary to repeat what he had to say, because he did a very good job of, of, of disclosing it. You know, hey, I, we, hey, don't, we don't have to do it. It's, just, it's a sound bite. It's a sound bite. It's a sound bite. Lee, the answer, and, and that's exactly what I said, that you know, balance sheet management, sometimes a company is in a position where they're selling shares for certain reasons to, to raise money. Other times, you know, in a zero interest rate environment, it makes sense if there's no other uh, options to, to reduce the float. It's balance management. It's what companies have done forever. And the response that I got was, 
oh, come on, buying back a few shares. They still make widgets. All they're doing is buying back shares to, to, to juice the stock price. It, it, to me, it was so, not, not buying, to me, it was so naive and so ignorant. It, it, I, I mean, I, I, I asked the other day, what, what university are we talking about and what was the degree? Because it seems so, but I think it's dangerous to just throw well, that, that around and, and just not try to explain it because knee-jerk, MSM knee-jerk, uh, you know, reaction to that is, yeah, yeah, that's all it is, and it's so patently stupid and ludicrous that it scares me that someone's in a big position of power to yeah, be able to well, say that. Uh, I listened yesterday. You guys were very polite to her. I understand you want to back on your program, so you can't be <laughs> hostile. You know, I'm not hostile. You know, I, I, I should be very upset with her, right? You know, I wrote her a very intelligent letter. As I said, the president, the former President Harvard told me it was an A-plus, and she didn't respond to anything in the letter, just to tag me as an right. insider trader, which I won the case, and uh, said I own stock in Navient, which I'm happy to own. You know, I've told Navient they should give everybody back their money, go out of business, let the government worry about student lending. You know, it, it's, just, it's just a bad attitude. There's no reason to be hostile to wealth, whether it's AOC, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren. There's no reason to be hostile to wealth. We all have to work together to deal with our problems. All right. As simple as that. And you got to decide whether you're a capitalist or whether you're a socialist. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.